Hello guys, this is me again. Sorry it's taken me a while. Uh, I've been pretty busy with my schedule. But um, I'm going to teach you how to make fresh water and salt water because that's very important for hermit crabs. So, first of all what you need is you're going to need a bowl like that. You can buy them at PetSmart or something. I recommend you getting a big bowl for salt for so they can walk in it and a little bowl for fresh so they can just drink. Just like a small, you could use a shell, but those don't work well. There's more for food, bowl like that. So, what you want is you want something like this. And I fill it up to 16, I already made this, but I fill it up to, I would fill up to 16 ounces or 8 ounces. Here's the formula. For a cup, which is 8 ounces, you have 2 drops for fresh water, it's for fresh water, you have two drops, two drops of this stuff, and it's just hermit crab water conditioning, so you just drop two of those nice and slowly in there, just two drops, you can kill them if you put more in two, and then you need a teaspoon, one teaspoon for one cup, so one teaspoon of salt, sea salt, I wouldn't get just regular plain salt. Get sea salt because regular salt has iodine and that can kill them. Get like this brand. It's a really good brand. So what you do, you take like a half cup or a cup or something like that. Fill it up. Fill it up right there. Since this is a half cup, I'd fill it up. And if I want to make it eight ounces, which is a cup, I would fill this up. One, drop it in there. Fill it up. Two. Drop it in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I would shake it, shake this thing as much as I could, so all the salt's gone. Once the salt's gone, then you go. If there's still some in there, you gotta redo it. So yeah. Now if if you get here's the formula. If you get two cups, you're gonna need four drops for fresh water, but for salt water, you're gonna need two teaspoons. Make sure you remember that. And then what I like to do is I usually make 16 ounces and I put I put four ounces every time I make it in this thing and what you do every time you go to their cage which they need this this is important you spray down the cage just like this 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 would be fresh water this is going to be fresh water in here so you spray it down Just like that. Get it, like I probably get like six or seven squirts in there, and put a piece of plexiglass over top, and I would show you how to make a cage for them later on. So yeah, make sure you, and you spray that every single day. Now another thing I recommend doing, if you don't want to get this, which that's more easier, get this. I'm not sure how it works. But you have to ask a person at like PetSmart or something. But yeah, what if you what you would do is I would take this stuff and gently about six, about six inches over your hermit crab. See Orville's right there. You spray it, spray him twice, no more than twice. Twice can hurt him. Twice is just enough for them. So. so yeah, and that's what it is. That stuff. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to. Just please subscribe. And if you have any, and again, leave if you want want me to do anything else with the hurt crabs or for you anything, just leave a comment below, and I will most certainly get to or try my best to get to that. Thank you for watching. Peace out. And go St. Louis Cardinals, baby.